but let's see how Yasharal will be delivered by the four horses, which are the first four seals of the book of Revelation 6. First seal, C to the O to the R to the O to the N A. That's the first seal. And we've done this many times over. You can check any of our Mark of the Beast videos and you'll see we do this. But just read it first, please. Revelation 6, 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, verse 2, and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. All right. So as you have looked on this many times before, the white horse, white refers to the medical field, and it refers to pharmacy. Because the earth is deceived, Revelation 18.23, that the earth is deceived by thy sorcery. And sorcery there means medication or pharmaceutical. And he that sat on him had a bow. And if you look down at the bottom, bow is from the Greek toxin, from which we get toxin or poison, which is what they put into, uh, into us with that thing that they have. And a crown was given unto him. And if you research the etymology of the word crown, it is what you have up at the top here, C to the O to the R to the N to the A. So a corona was given him and he went conquering, conquering the world with the corona. It is through the use of the corona that they have been able to set up their one world order system and to have control over the world. Just think about it. Two years ago, these people have an iron grip on the world now. We are just sitting by and awaiting to to hear what they are going to tell us next to do. They have the world as if they tell the world when to do this, when to do that. Um, lock down this, lock down that. You can't go there. You have to do this. You have to. So that they have achieved through the first seal, which is the C to the R to the O to the N to the A that they use to conquer. Mm. So that's the white horse. Then we have the... Second seal. Read, please. The second seal, which is world war. Read, please. Revelation chapter 6, verse 3. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast saying, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. All right, Paul was given him to take peace from the earth. Peace from the earth. And this is the red horse. Remember in Zechariah 1, it says the red horse went around and everything was, at, was peaceful. Yes. Everything was still. And the angel yeah. cried and said, how long, Yahuwah, before you deliver our people? Mm. Well, this red horse, this world war, this thing that we see stirring up with Russia and NATO, the red colored NATO and the red colored Russia. This thing that we see stirring up, this is the earth now going into a war. Peace taken from the earth. And that is when our people is going to signal the beginning of the deliverance of our people. Okay? So the red flag nations, remember we are about flags and colors. The red flag nations are given power to shed blood worldwide. And they have the ammunition, the nuclear weapons, to kill a third of the earth. They have the nuclear weapons that can kill the whole world. Yeah. They have enough ammunition to wipe out every mankind on the face of the earth. But the Most High tells you that he is going to restrict it. They can't go over the one third. One third of nations will be killed. So the red horse finally released so Yasharal can be delivered. So all of those people who are sitting here praying, boy, I hope these people, the war doesn't happen. If you don't, if you are praying that the war doesn't happen, you are praying that the most high's will will not be done. Not be done. Mm. If you are praying that the war doesn't happen, it means you love the world more than you love your people. If you are praying that the war doesn't happen, you are an enemy of the most high. Because these things have to be fulfilled before his people 
can be delivered. Remember the four angels, the four horns, the four powers that were given to destroy the time of the Gentiles. It described in Revelation 9, a nuclear war. Okay? All right. Now the third seal, economic crash. Read, please. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hands. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou heard not the oil and the wine. All right, the significance of black. Black deer deals with destruction, with famine, with starvation, hunger, um, everything that is bleak. Black refers to it. And he says he had a pair of balances in his hand. And balances refer to trading, buying and selling. And you can go to Hosea 12, 7, Micaiah 6, verse 11, or Micah 6, verse 11, for those matching words, precepts, all right? Now, as Shamal was speaking about the stock market, wheat, barley, oil, and wine are all traded on the stock exchange. He said he heard a voice out of the midst of the four beasts. And if we know how the stock market operates, that's how they shout out the different prices in the stock market. Yeah? So they will tell you, um, um, we are buying, buying whatever stock. Buying Sony for $5.50. Sony selling for $5.50. Sony, um, um, CNN selling for whatever, whatever. That's all they, they, they shout out the stocks. So that's why I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts. Six for 200, two and eight sold. Two trades at six. Houston sells two at six to down. Six for an eight sold. One more trades at six. Pair off one there. What's that man down to? 24 four trades at six. Six for 10,000, 10,000 and eight. Six for eight, 10,000. Leaves 1,200. You complete, you're complete. Shout out, just like they do in the stock market. This is the market crash, the economic crash in the third seal. Do you have anything to say? Because you're speaking about the stocks, Brother Shamal. It just, it's just out yesterday, all right? It's just out that um, the world economy is speeding towards a cliff. Now, stocks are down and inflation is up. Investors are very, very moody. Nobody's asking out loud because everybody is sitting on the edge of their seat. But everyone is wondering the same thing we are all wondering. All right? It says, are we headed for recession? Stock <laughs> markets are bleeding. There is a raging party in Wall Street. And the major U.S. stock, right, stocks are down by 7 trillion U.S. dollars. Mm. 7 trillion. The Nasdaq. The Nasdaq is down 28%. Dow Jones is down 12%. S&P is also down by 16%. Now, this is just a quarter aspect, the quarter part of the year. We haven't even got into the middle part. Mm. We, are not even half, we, are not, we are not even halfway through the year. And already there is this major, you know, this major collapse of stocks. So this shows you that literally that the economy is going to fall apart as the scripture is saying right here. Mm -hmm. It is going to fall apart. Now, we all know that only the wise will be able to see, right? Because the wise have been warned a full time to know what is about to happen. So the wise are actually going to prep and prepare themselves to do as the word is telling them to do. So yeah, brother, that's what I wanted to add on to, to, to what is currently happening. So we are down by $7 trillion on the on the stock exchange. So if U.S. stocks all collapse, then we all know there's going to be a global recession. Yeah. So our insulation from this, when we flee from the midst of Babylon and we go somewhere when we do not have to depend on the economy, that is the important thing. You go somewhere where you do not have to depend on the economy, which means somewhere where you can be self-sufficient in food, you plant your own food, you eat your own food, grow your own food, so that when they're buying and selling system crashes, then you are not a part of that. All right? 
So that's the importance of fleeing from the midst of Babylon, apart from the wars and the confusion and the madness that is going to be there. So then we have the fourth seal. What is the fourth seal? Fourth seal is the unleashing of the Muslims. The fourth seal, Muslim nations, the war machine, what they call them, jihadists, mm -hmm. that's going to be unleashed upon the earth. Revelation 6, verse 7. Read, please. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast saying, Come and see. All right, hold on. And I look. Remember, we are talking about the importance of colors. If we do not have an understanding of colors, then we are not going to be able to understand the seals. Colors are absolutely necessary for you to understand end time prophecy. Read verse 8, please. Verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto, unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. All right. And I looked and behold a pale horse. That word pale there, that's why you need to always have to have the concordance people. That word pale there is from the Greek chloros, which means greenish or green remember the subject is the importance of flags and colors in understanding end time prophecy the vast majority of muslim nations their flags are green green and white and then scarlet that's why uh, yes and some have scarlet in it that's why it says greenish which means it's not going to be so fully green, but most of them are going to be green. Now, look at here, it says here in verse 8. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. I'm going to show you how accurate the Most High is. How accurate the scriptures are. How accurate these prophecies are. Power is given him over the fourth part of the earth. The statistics, look at the bottom of this image, that, that this television here. There were 1.8 billion Muslims in the world as of 2015. Roughly how much of the population you see there, Shamwal? 24% of the global population, according to a Pew Research Center estimate. That was 2015. And Muslims are the fastest growing religion. That means by now, they have reached 25%. And what did he say? Power was given him over the fourth part of the earth. 25%. That was, 20, that was 2015. Yes. <laughs> so 25% is how much? 25% is a quarter, a fourth of the earth. Yeah, fourth. One quarter, yeah. So that's why I'm telling you, you've, you the colors tell you, the, show you the prophecy. So power is given to him 1.8 billion people, a quarter of the earth. And here it says in the prophecy, a fourth of the earth. And it says a green horse. These are the Muslims. And they are expected to unleash because they have their sleeper cells all over the world. These people are unique yes. in that they have their people all over the world. It is said that they have people who migrate from one country to the other. And they await instructions as to when they are to be activated and their task yeah. is to just destroy and kill everyone who is not a muslim so they are waiting for the there's a signal that they will get and when they get that signal then they are going to start killing and that's why united states is going to have a serious problem and like england and those places they have all of these people in there these people when they unleash they are going to just destroy destroy all right so this is the fourth seal, the Muslims.